Hi everyone and welcome back to this tutorial. As you remember on our last lesson we imported a handmade sketch of our project and we started drawing the elements of the lower level. On this video we will finish drawing the different parts of this lower level and we will continue by drawing some elements of the upper level. So let's start by adding some thickness to the internal walls. And what we are actually going to do is not add a thickness to the line properly, but we are going to duplicate the line a certain distance apart to represent the thickness. Let me show you what I mean. For this, we are going to use the offset tool. So we are going to click O, enter, and let's say the walls are 30 centimeters thick, so 0.3 enter. We click on this line and make a click to the side of it. Now, as you can see, these two lines represent the thickness of this wall. And we're going to do the same for these other walls here. So, click, 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 and click. Now, we need to close the gap between these two lines for our handrail. So, click, and click. Okay, now let's add a thickness to the floor slab. Again, we're going to use the offset tool, but we're going to say the floor slab has a thickness of 40 centimeters. So let's type 0.4 enter. Click and click. Now let's clean a little bit the joints between the walls and the floor slab. For that, we're going to use the trim tool. So TR enter, select the lines and trim it. And for this part over here, we're going to draw another line to cut this element for a beam, but also we want to leave this line to represent our glass wall. Now that we trim it, you can see what I mean. Okay, let's move on to the right side to start drawing the stairs over here. So PL, click to right, let's say 2.2 meters, enter, and another line to close it here. For the steps, we are also going to use the offset tool, O enter, and we already said that the steps have a uh, 17 centimeters height, so 0.17, and we start offsetting these lines to draw the steps of the holster. And down. Now let's move on and draw the doors. So we will use the pollen tool again. Click here, move to the top, and let's say 2.5 meters top and 1.5 meters wide. And click here. Let's select the door and copy to the right side of the wall. Click and click. Here, as you can see, the door and the steps of the stair are overlapping. And let me remind you something, is that we're using this sketch just as a base for our project cross-section. So if at any point we need to change something on our drawing, we can feel free to do that. Uh, because at the end, what we want is uh, accurate and precise drawing of the project idea. So let's select this, the doors, the wall, and move them to a position where they can fit. Now we just have to adjust these lines and we can select this door and copy it again. So we can have this door over here as well. Remind to, to adjust what you need so you can have a precise drawing. Okay, now let's draw the fish tanks on this room. So PL, 
a blue line let's use the midpoint as a starting point to draw them and we'll say that there are 2.2 meters long for 80 centimeters height and, and see to close and to draw this other two fish tank what we're going to do first is to duplicate this fish tank to draw the the right fish tank so we are going to use the mirror tool so M I enter we select the midpoint over here to draw this mirror axis click and let's say no because we want to keep the source object now we select this fish tank and we're going to copy it using the midpoint as a base point and we're going to paste it in between these two points over here and here now that we have drawn these fish tanks we are going to move on to draw the four fish tanks on the room to the right so pl and we're going to say that these are 1.2 meters wide and 17 centimeters high now let's select it and move it to the line of the floor again we're going to draw the other fish tank but this is going to have four, four meters length and as well seven centimeters height we select it and place it where we need it now that we have finished drawing the elements of the lower level of our project we're going to move on and draw the upper elements so to start we can begin with the door so we can select this door select it and copy it over here and we can place it where we need it now we can select again and copy the times we need it and here now we're going to draw the top edge of the wall on the back for that we're going to use the X line tool XL now we type in H for horizontal and we're going to position it on our floor level we select it and we'll move it 3 meters to the top so 3 and enter finally we're going to draw the lines of the front and back facade for that first let's unselect the ortho and the osnap tool so we can draw freely as for PL to polyline we draw this line from here to here and this one let's say from here to here now we just have to trim the parts of this line that we don't want so here here that and finally that now we are almost done drawing the base AutoCAD drawing for our cross section uh, on our next video we will continue by drawing the roof of our building as well as its structure also we would add a couple of entourage to use them as a reference for future phases so thanks again for watching and don't forget to stay tuned for our next lessons